your booty. Go watch, go watch your movie with the, Bubba. Go watch your movie with Bubba. Hurry. Thank you. Take it to Bubba. Go take it to Bubba. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm 25 weeks pregnant now. Let me pull up my notes. Okay, so 25 weeks. Where do I begin? The day I turned 25 weeks was a nightmare. <laughs> the day that I turned 25 weeks was a disaster only because I was going to meet my husband and do some running around errands in town. I didn't make it to do any of it. I made it maybe 10 miles down the road and I guess you could say Okay, so I'm in the country, and so I wasn't even into town yet, and the speed limit is 55, 60, <laughs> okay? Well, I'm going like 60. It's two-lane road. There's a lot of trucks, log trucks that come through, because there's a paper mill over here in West Monroe. There's always a lot of 18-wheelers on the road, and trucks, and dump trucks, and big trucks. I'm going through and it's almost like lunchtime and like I said I'm not I haven't quite made it to town yet. It's lunch lunch hour rush, line of cars behind me and then a ton of vehicles coming the other way and I was completely shocked. I didn't think this was even this could even happen. I was driving down the road going 60 and then all of a sudden I hear a boom. And it was so loud, and I kid you not, I screamed. But as soon as I heard that boom, I saw it in like slow-mo. I saw it like the whole thing, my driver's side window shattered. And then all of a sudden, all my window is falling on top of me. It was awful, and I was a mess to say the least. I did not handle it very well. I had the kids with me. Thankfully, we were blessed, and that was the only thing that happened. I got a couple scratches. I dug out a couple pieces of glass that I had, like, all over in my arm because it was my entire driver's side window. And, like, all that glass fell onto my legs and onto my arms and into my feet. And that day, I just happened to be wearing shorts and <laughs> Crocs and a short sleeve shirt because I was just going to run around town and do errands. I don't know. It was, it was a bad deal. Anyways, that was why 25 weeks sucked for me. Like on that day, and I didn't make it to do any of that. I was, I was so hysterical calling my husband to come and save me. No, it on has color on it. I can't see. I cried like a baby because I was just so scared. <laughs> but like I said, my kids, well, I don't know if I said, my kids handled it pretty well. Let's go in the kitchen. Know. They were just kind of like caught them off guard, but I was the one who was like freaking out. <laughs> And it took me a couple of hours to be realistic to uh, <laughs> get myself together. And luckily, like, we got my car in the same day to get the window fixed because the rain has been awful. Anyways, let's get back to um, being pregnant. Okay, so I have been nesting quite a bit lately. We're in the trailer right now because we are building a house. The walls have been empty since we moved in. And I guess we've been here, like, I guess... A little over a year now I was just we have been building and we were building pretty fast and then it kind of slowed down so I, I wasn't really wanting to put any like pictures and stuff up on the wall but since I've been nesting I have been constantly like going through every single one of my clothes like I've been weeding out everything getting, going through boxes that we hadn't you know even opened yet because we didn't anticipate to be here very long <laughs> from building but we're we're building as we go because we're building it ourselves but now all of a sudden there is like pictures decorations all over the walls because I cannot handle I can't handle it like it's just the nesting the cleaning the going the organizing just everything so I was doing that for several days and then all of a sudden it kind of like died down and I wasn't nesting as much and so the past few days I've been completely and totally unmotivated to do anything and all I want to do is just sit around and watch movies and I don't know if it's just the weather if I'm being pregnant but that's all I wanted to do these past couple of days. Now I've got like stuff hung up on walls and it looks like we actually live here. I finally have my registry up on Target. I need to like do my Amazon one and I don't know if there's any other ones that I can really do. I mean Toys R Us and Baby R Us aren't around anymore so I can't really 
do one on there but I, I don't know if I'm even gonna do like a baby shower this time because <laughs> every two and a half years <laughs> boom <laughs> here's another baby and it's another boy but I mean there still are things that I need to replace from having two other ones obviously and then obviously I gotta get diapers you know a ton of diapers you always need diapers and I may have a diaper shower just because I want to I, I do want to party but I don't really want to have like a diaper shower if that makes any sense I just don't feel like it's really necessary considering I've had two previously and I've got most of my stuff so I don't know I just have the registries up I guess for me and anybody who wants to like get us anything I mean diapers are always welcomed <laughs> or you know like gift cards because when I have the baby like I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna want to be cooking and I'm not that put together organized mom who has like meal prepped and planned and has stuff sitting and ready in the freezer ready to go that is not me I am super uncomfortable wearing pants and shorts because the elastic okay everybody tells me he is so high but I don't feel like he is high he sits way super down low and like sometimes the elastic I don't care if it's pregnant you know or maternity line or not the elastic or whatever is on my belly like down low really bothers me and sometimes it'll like even I think it's like I'll get pains and I'm pretty sure that's what that's from it's like too tight you know because my belly is growing so much just down there and he's down there and so when he moves or gets in a certain position it really really hurts so I'm about to the point where I'm only going to be wearing dresses I guess because I don't want to deal with that as I get too big because I am like 25 weeks now <sighs> oh uh, the last thing I have on here is earaches I have been experiencing some earaches and I don't know if that was just because recently I've been sick but I didn't have that with the other two, but they were so bad. I have never had an earache before. I've never had an earache before, and then all of a sudden, they'll hit me at night. And it was only two nights, thankfully. One night, it was my left ear, and then the, and the next night, it was my right ear, and the right ear was way worse. It was to the point where I could not sleep. I was taking um, ibuprofen, trying to put a warm, wet towel like on my ear trying to get some relief because I didn't really know what to do for an earache. Come to find out it is pregnancy related so that's probably why I was experiencing that but for two nights it was it was bad. That is all that I have on my list. I will give you guys a bump shot and then say goodbye. <laughs> anyway so here you go here is 25 weeks you can see that obviously today I'm not doing the shorts and the shirt to show you the actual belly but you get the gist Ta -da. thanks you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos and to follow along on this pregnancy because I'm posting videos every single week. Comment anything that you, you know, concerns or, you know, conversation starters or whatever. If you're pregnant, how, how far along are you? What are you having? <sighs> Keep me up to date and in the loop with your pregnancy as well because I will be following along with you. I think it's fun to find people who are pregnant at the same time and who are around the same due date as myself. I will see you guys next time in my next video. Like I said, thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.